Hey there, thank you for tuning into SimTech channel. This is part two of our tutorial on power system harmonics. Now that we all have a good understanding or an idea of what exactly are power system harmonics, what causes harmonics and how to basically eliminate harmonics in your system based on the IEEE E519 harmonic standard that imposes a harmonics limitation for specific voltage levels. Great. Now, if you haven't watched part one of this tutorial, I strongly recommend that you do so. Now, in this tutorial, we're basically going to do three things. So the first one, we're going to model a simple network. And after that, we're going to do an harmonic injection into our network and run an harmonic analysis after that. Great. So stay tuned because by the end of this tutorial, you're going to get a pretty good understanding of how to run a simple harmonics analysis on a power system network great now let's go ahead and create our simple uh, two bus bar model here so i'm going to bring in the first bus bar here so this will basically be my generator bus bar and over here will be my feeder bus bar okay so i'm going to try to change the voltage level here okay 132 kilovolt that's fine let's leave it at that and over here, we're going to change it to 66 kilovolt. Okay, so this basically means we need a step down transformer here. So let's go ahead and pull a two winding transformer and we're going to connect it on cubic one here and also on cubic one on the feeder bus bar. Okay, great. So the next thing here is to basically model our transformer before we can bring in the generator that will supply the power okay so we're going to create a new project type okay and over here basically just give the rating for your transformer let's say we got a 40 mva transformer 132 kilovolt and lowering it to 66 kilovolt this is a three-phase transformer so we're gonna do the high voltage side will be delta and the low voltage side will be star with a neutral point we leave the phase shift at zero and this gives us a three phase transformer with a vector grouping d y n zero great then the short circuit percentage will be three percent and the ratio of xr will be 10 and on the zero sequence it's also gonna be three percent and 10. okay so that basically all we need here for our two winding transformers and we can say okay and okay great now the model is not completed we need to bring in a simple generator here basically the grid so let's go ahead and pull in the grid system here we're going to connect it on the generator bus bar cubic two okay and the next thing here is to basically flip it at the bus bar okay just click on it and select flip at bus bar and it will be placed in a correct position for us great the next thing is now to connect a simple load on our feeder bus bar here so let's go ahead and bring a general load here and connect it on the feeder bus bar and that will be on cubic two here okay and that basically it now we cannot run a load flow analysis yet here because we need to basically pass some parameters into our load here so we go to basic data load flow and we're going to give a uh, active power of 10 megawatt and the reactive power of 4 megavolt ampere right now i'm just choosing this value arbitrary if you've got some calculated data that you've already worked out you can enter them okay we just want to demonstrate how we can do a simple power system harmonics injection and analysis okay great now we basically done modeling our system here now before we can do the harmonic injection let's first ensure that the system the model is working by running a simple uh, load flow analysis here okay before we can start fiddling with the harmonic settings so i'm going to go ahead and run the load flow simulation okay so we did model our uh, system with a 10 megawatt so it's the load is pulling 9.9 .9. the generator is also supplying about 9.9 .9, uh, 
megawatt of power to make our data readable here you can go ahead and basically just adapt the width okay and that will ensure that you are able to read every parameters okay so that basically what you have to do to ensure that now we know that the system is working okay so there is a 9.9 .9 megawatt on our load and the generator is also supplying 9.9 .9 megawatt okay so the primary current is 0 0.047 kilo amps and the secondary current is 0 0.094 kilo amps because it's a step down transformer so the current has to increase okay and the per unit voltage at the bus bar here is one volt per unit and on the secondary bus bar it's also one volt per unit so that basically shows that the system is properly balanced there are no voltage drops on our system great now that we know that our system is working let's now go ahead and uh, inject the harmonics into the system now as per our previous tutorial we know that harmonics basically the distortion affect the power quality okay and it does that primarily by affecting uh, the fundamental frequency of a sinusoidal voltage or current okay so for us to inject the harmonics into the system we basically need to disrupt the load current to basically change the fundamental frequency of the load current to whether inject the third or fifth or seventh harmonics into our system so let's go ahead and click on general load here and over here on harmonics and power quality when you click here you're going to see here where you're supposed to inject the harmonics current it will tell you that the load is modeled as an impedance select current source in load type for injecting harmonics current so this basically mean this load here is a constant load it's a general basically it's an impedance load it's very constant 10 megawatt from the load and 10 megawatt from the generator is being supplied so it's an impedance now we need to change it as a current source load that way we'll be able to inject the harmonics into this load current great so to do that let's go back to the basic data and we're going to create a new project type general load okay and over here we're gonna now click on harmonics power quality and here you can see that the load model is an impedance and it's pure inductive and capacity you can basically choose what you want to do okay so we're gonna click on the drop down here and select current source that's all we need to do here and we're going to click ok now when you click on harmonics you can see that that uh, statement is now gone we now have the option to choose the harmonics current okay so let's go ahead and click on new project type or we can select on the global tab now the difference here is if you already have got some specific settings for the harmonics that you want to inject into your system maybe depending on the IEC 60 1000 you can enter those parameters here you basically will create your harmonics current okay but now if you don't have that data you can just go ahead and select on the global type okay great now this is probably a subject for another tutorial so let's go ahead and select global type and over here you can see it say please select harmonics source okay so on your library let's go ahead and click on harmonics and harmonics current spectrum and over here you can choose whether you want to uh, inject a 12 pulse bridge two pulse or a six pulse bridge okay so you can decide which one you want to simulate so let's go ahead and select the six pulse bridge and we're going to click ok okay so here it says harmonics current refer to fundamental current okay so that's basically what we want to do okay we want to inject the harmonic distortion in the fundamental frequency so let's go ahead and click ok great now let's go ahead and perform the harmonics analysis on our power system network okay so let's find the toolbar here so this is for the load flow analysis that for the short circuit analysis right and these are just editor toolbar and over here this toolbar is for the tie open point optimization okay but now we can change the toolbox here by clicking on the green arrow depending on your dick silent power factor reversion you can now choose the harmonics power quality toolbar okay 
and that will give us the option here to run the harmonics analysis so once that's there the only thing you need to do is to go ahead and click on it and you will be presented for some options here okay so the basics option is to run a balanced uh, system so the nominal frequency or your fundamental frequency will be 50 hertz harmonics order will be one on the first system right and you can calculate harmonic load flow on all frequencies because remember we've got the third harmonics first seventh and so forth so you can calculate on all frequencies okay so that basically all you have here you can go ahead and execute unless if you want to go on advanced option here okay or on the iec 61000 and you can execute the harmonics based on this standard now let's go ahead and do the basics harmonic execution here so i'm going to go ahead and click on execute there we go great now we can see that we've got some harmonics distortion on our system already here great so now what do we have here let's first just uh, change the width here or let's rather adapt the width okay so we can see that we've got about uh 0.5 percent harmonic distortion on the voltage right and on the current here we can see there is an harmonic distortion total harmonic distortion of 30.02 percent okay so that is a distortion on the current and that's the same harmonic distortion that's running on the load current okay let's go ahead and adapt width so you can see all the parameters and on the secondary voltage basically on the 66 kilovolt bus bar here we've got the harmonic distortion of three point seven percent okay now what does the standard the i triple e 519 standard says about harmonics for a different voltage level we know that this bus bar here is uh sitting at a potential of 132 kilovolt and the feeder bus bar is at 66 kilovolt now according to the i triple e 519 standard it says that for voltage level between 69 and 161 kilovolt the permissible uh, harmonics or the limit is set at about 1.5 percent that is a total harmonic distortion so when we look at this one here is sitting at 0.5 percent that basically means our network is good to go it will pass the ieee 519 standard and when you look at the lower voltage here because the percentage goes higher as the voltage decrease okay so now here on 66 we got 3.7 percent now according to the standard for voltages below 69 kilovolt the harmonics the total harmonic distortion limit is about uh, five percent and here we are sitting at 3.7 percent so which basically means uh, our system is still within the i triple e 519 harmonics limit great now dick silent gives you the ability to create your harmonics uh, distortion plot so that you can see the various levels how high they basically go so you can make a plot similar to this plot here basically by clicking over here to create your distortion plot but before we do that there is an interesting fact about the harmonics uh, distortion level versus the short circuit current so if you change your short circuit current it changes your harmonic distortion now i'm not going to say the reason why it is so i'll let you guys to basically uh let me know in the comment section why do you think it is the case if you change the harmonics uh, the short circuit current it affect the harmonic distortion now let's just demonstrate that quickly here by double clicking on our generator or the grid going on the short circuit here now right now we've got a maximum short circuit current at 43.7 kilo amps so i'm going to change this to 15 kilo amps and we're going to click ok ok now we need to uh, basically run the harmonics distortion again analysis so let's go ahead and do that execute and we're going to see the changes in the harmonics level on the voltage pass bar ok now here we had 0.5 percent and now we've got the distortion of 1.4 percent and over here it's 4.6 percent and we basically approaching 
the limits okay it's getting very much close to the limit this one it's almost there now why is it the case when you decrease the short circuit current you've got higher harmonic distortion please let me know in the comment section but now let's go ahead then try to get the plots for these harmonics here now before you can do the harmonics plot you need to basically define where you want to plot your harmonics so let's go ahead and click on the bus bar and define our result for harmonics load flow okay once you have that okay you can then just say close and then click on create distortion plot and here you can see we've got show result for harmonics okay so let's go ahead and click on here and select harmonics okay and the element right that basically the bus bar in which you want to show the harmonics right so we can say okay and the variable will basically be uh the variable in which your harmonics uh are defined so that will be your parameters there so you just say okay there and okay so now it will take you to the next step here to basically show you uh your graph or your plot for the harmonics but now this is a little bit out of scale here so you need to scale it basically by clicking over here there we go and clicking this way you can see now the plot is now scaled to basically show you now the first harmonics you can see it's at 100 percent then your fourth and seven 11 13 and so forth all these harmonics levels you can see they are basically all the same there are no differences between them apart from the first harmonics all the other harmonics they basically are at the same uh, distortion level and that is uh, precisely because the source of the harmonics is just one load here okay that is basically affecting all the harmonics on this bus bar so that basically how you can do a simple analysis but obviously you can uh, add another bus bar add another load and and then run the distortion you're going to start getting a different pictures for your harmonics plot now we're going to stop uh, this tutorial here great now when you're analyzing your harmonics uh, plot you can actually insert your ieee e519 standard uh, so that you can see how far off or how closer you are to the harmonics limit that way it will uh, help you optimize uh, uh, your power system network to the standard right now uh, i will make a short uh, tutorial on how to basically do that and that will be uploaded into my patreon site so for those of you who like to support simtech channel please become part of the community join my patreon site and that way i can actually uh, add short uh, tutorial basically specifically addressing specific needs that uh, sometimes people ask in the comment section how do you do this and those kind of tutorial i cannot upload them on youtube because it, it's not addressing everyone's need but if you want uh, something that's uh, address you specifically uh patreon site is where i can do that very easily two minute one minute tutorial and things like that so thank you guys for watching so in the next tutorial we're basically going to dive deeper because there is more that can be said about uh, power system harmonics we are basically just starting to scratch a surface basically the fundamental but a lot can be said about this and we will continue the discussion in the next tutorial if you have any comment please drop in the comment section and also remember to answer the question why changing the short circuit current here affect the harmonics at the bus bar level here great so that is it for this tutorial until next time cheers